we, our domain definition is done and then now let's see our 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 implementations for the for the service definitions the rest service definitions <coughs> so here is the modules for the rest service definitions and this is the repositories for all of them so you see that the, the our primary repositories and this is the repository for all the elastic search repository and this is a plot information that means the plot has multiple linked with the ownership authentication building payment and blah 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 so forth and so forth this is the domain race repository race resource definition so this the renotation did automatically you could operations we do not do, do not to like to do nothing here so so here is the uh, what's the default again the default definitions and then this is the the role definitions and and the locations uh, for geolocation for the definitions for for the for the of our old implementations <coughs> sorry and we we define your own interface definition you you can do your own crude operations but to define your service and implement your service and use the, the some some other repository concept or repositories for that one so i try to put it in one example or to get it clearly to to get you and to get a clear definition who, how we can do you yourself not using the, the default one so this is the so here is the implementation for your 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 own rest repository and you see the our uh, plot repository and then you, you implement your your code operations and and that's all and it works perfect if for this case you have a really really more control your your developments uh, or you can you can process your developments by some some utility function for logging functions you can control it your your time instant and and whatever it is there's more control is your side the developer can do it so they see the, the implementation look like this so we use the the plot repository as it is as a the repository that's we have it in the systems and and then you control your application if it's null then do the return is not null then return the list if it's null then return don't don't throw the null point exception through the the objects of the of the plot informations so this is the one of the implementations your code operation this is the the professional the standard way has to be maintained because if you are working in the company and company needs some such a such a structure the clean code or clean development code for this way so that's why i put it every time this is the specific uh, process or a specific packaging style or packaging is, uh, process to to implement some such a features uh, uh, everywhere this is a professional way so that means modules repository resource service and service information utilities so, so what's the resource resource is the your, your endpoints definitions this is the most important endpoint. so we call our services our interfaces and then we we set our in, in our request mappings and and then blah 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 so on and so forth and that, that's the, the the more important the more control part so that means you define your interfaces for your code operations or whatever it is or more or, or we need a special search then you can put it here that you implement you uh, define your interface and if implement here and you have more control with your implementations so resource means for i, I like a lot of people asking me why i call it like resource but it's look like resource but you can define it like as a controller so as a controller controller packet like so you be soft group as yeah, so you, you you application name and then you can say controller and then put it your all controller then depending on your decision but i i found it really good here this way so here you can put it your your utility function if you need more control your your, your http control or http codes and then here you can put it here your status and message and code and you can integrate what you would like to do now you can integrate this the utility classes in in here so it's it's hard to maintain your utilities in the if you are defined your your repositories as a default repositories like like here uh, like uh, like like your, your your this is the default repository so it, here is you have no more control but is the implementation is really really flexible and really really good implementation you don't no, no to nothing you just code it annotated it and you define your resource and you define your path and that's all finished everything is done by the by the by the frameworks by the by these annotations and that's all so here is the most important uh, here is the we need a more concentration about that one so i said this is the this is the really really 
externally configurable, configurable application. So uh, there's a lot of viewers and then subscriber asking me give them really this possibility and they, they give, have a really good comments for, from them uh, because this is it's, it's really dynamically configured. You can put it in your application where you'd like to do. Just you need to change the, your, some keys, values and your, your properties. So if you close look at this, these two, two, four environments, so later so you see that our resource definition here is our standard the default one you see that our 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 application port started this number and this is a local host deployment and then if you have it in the in the, the data center or deployment in, in in bangladesh or in germany or usa then you can has to change your machine, machine number and this is the really most important one which environment you try to deploy your application and this is the the, the your cluster names and this is the the properties has to be override from the externally configured file i will show you how it's done by the by the deployment process so is it localhost and enable this one so here is the same thing just we need to override <coughs> sorry override from the from the externally so it's a productions environments and then this is uh, just just a really close look and application minus and dev pro qa rel and test environments so this is the three application three configuration configuration properties file is controlled by the externally and which environment we try to deploy our applications so and and that's that's really important where and because we are now are living in the dev of cultures so as a developer you have to maintain all of them if you are in a small company like company size like 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 50 but if you are a big company they, they have it the dev of engineers so just your job to build the applications and give it to your jar files or web files and they will deploy the applications but if you are a full stack developer then you are responsible to to deploy your application from development to test or qa or, or production whatever it is you have to maintain those applications that's why this is too important to maintain your your deployment process and also the your, your your deployment your your applications and also the your deployment or migrate your databases and depending which database you are using so i already generated you the applications and the first version of the the deployment just you go there because uh, uh, you you are you, uh, you we are using maven and run it as a maven install and it's generated your your, your jar files this is embedded tomcat with that one so i already generated it these applications and here is you see our our jar files so this is the jar files you you just copied it to the to the any specific server or any any container in any, any server or any any local files and give it to them the the, the possibility uh, for the for the installations and i will show you how i write the, the script for this into installation installation process So you, see, you saw that this, that this is our our jar file. That's what we generated it in the from the from the from the applications. And this is the our environment setup. And and this is our the service started uh, applications. The application will be started. Let's see how is it information is containing. How is it coded? The script script. <coughs> So you see the, the there is a the application is now okay. Uh, we have environments. We have your Java location path. If is the environment variable is not set, then you can just simply change it. And if you have a different, that's that's the cool things. Is that's the cool things you see. Uh, the, that's the, that's the cool, really cool things. If you have a different Java versions and Java your application is portable to the Java different versions, not lower than that one at java 8 but upper version you can just simply change it here and your application should automatically deploy the, the your application so you can you, you put it you select your port number and you select with machine number then then your your your, your version a your application and your version number so this is our jar file that we have in the in the in the, in the application deployment in the directory so here is the most important part this is that's why i said uh, this is a profile that is source uh, the source dot application 